You will need a Lansing device in order to collect a blood sample. The Lansing device may not be used by more than one individual. Ensure the Lansing device is not shared among different users. Wash hands and fingertips sample site with soap and warm water. Rinse and dry thoroughly. Unscrew the tip of the Lansing device. Caution! To avoid infection when drawing a sample, use a lancet only one time and do not use a lancet that's been used by others. Always use a new sterile lancet. Keep the Lansing device clean. Firmly insert a new lancet into the lancet holder. Hold the lancet firmly. Gently twist to pull off protective disc. Do not discard the protective disc. Save disc to recap lancet after use. Replace the lancing device tip. Turn the adjustable tip until it's aligned with the load confirmation window and release button. You can adjust the depth level of the lancing device from level one to level seven. As the number gets greater, the skin depth to retrieve blood gets deeper. To cock the lancing device, hold the device with one hand and pull the sliding barrel until you feel a click and load confirmation window turns red. Gently insert the test strip into the meter in line with the triangle symbol on the meter and with the CareSense N logo on the test strip facing up until the meter beeps. The meter will display the blood insertion symbol. To help you, CareSense N has a post-meal flagging function for people with diabetes to manage the pre-meal and post-meal test results separately. Post-meal flagging should be set just before the application of blood sample to the test strip. Please take care when measuring with the post-meal flagging function because post-meal flagging cannot be deleted. In order to save the test result as a post-meal glucose level, press and hold the downward button for three seconds after inserting the test strip. The meter will display a post-meal flag on the display. The post-meal test result is viewed with the post-meal flag. If you do not want to save the test result as a post-meal glucose level, press and hold the downward button for three seconds once again. When the meter is ready, collect a blood sample with the prepared lancing device by pressing the release button. While the meter displays the blood insertion symbol, let the tip of the strip touch the blood sample until the meter beeps. Check that the confirmation window of the strip is filled with the blood sample. Only 0.5 microliters of blood sample is required to fully fill the confirmation window. If the confirmation window is not fully filled with a blood sample, the meter may display ER4. The meter will automatically turn off when blood sample is not inserted for two minutes after the blood insertion symbol has appeared. When the meter is turned off, remove the test strip and reinsert it to test. Test results appear after the meter counts down for five seconds. Data is then automatically saved. The meter automatically turns off when the inserted strip is removed. The used strip must be discarded in an appropriate container. Do not reuse the used strip. After completing the test, unscrew the tip to open the lancing device and place the protective disc on the lancet. You can remove the lancet from the lancing device by pulling the sliding barrel and pushing the lancet ejector button forward. Discard the used lancet into an appropriate container. The lancet is for single use only. Never share or reuse a lancet. Put the tip back on the lancing device after removing the used lancet. Always keep the lancing device clean. Before using CareSense meters and test strips, always read the instructions and advice in the owner's manual.
Quick Guide, Test Strip Package Insert and Control Solution Package Insert. For further advice, please contact your health professional.